My name is Anmol Bering. I will be going through a demonstration of angle beam inspection of a one inch plate and a half inch plate. First thing is that the concept has to be very clear. How do we inspect the wells using angle beam shear wave? And this picture kind of explains you how the process is accomplished. We use angle beam probe with a refracted angle which is given here which would be 60 degrees or 45 degrees or 70 degrees and then we actually illuminate the weld let's say there is a defect here which could be lack of fusion in that case we will see that defect in the second leg a leg is from here to there is the first leg this is the second leg now knowing the value of this refracted angle, the machine will actually calculate PA, which is the distance from the exit point to the defect. And knowing the refracted angle and the thickness of the plate, the machine will also calculate DA, which is the depth of the flaw. Now to make the inspection a little bit easier, what we do is we enter the value X which is the distance from the exit point to the front of the wedge and then the machine actually gives us the distance of the flaw which is right here from the front of the wedge which is RA. So I am going to go through all these steps to show you how this is accomplished and what I will be inspecting first is a 1 inch plate which has a double V weld. Well first we will set the range on the machine using AutoCal and we are using a IAW block with a 2 inch radius and a 4 inch radius right here. So we get two signals, one at 2 inches and one at 4 inches. So we will do the AutoCal. We set the S reference 1 to 2 inches, S reference 2 to 4 inches. So I will record one at a time. Let's start with S reference 1 which is right here and let's record it and then I will move the gate to S reference 2 which is right here right there and I will select it the calibration is done so we go back to home the range is 5 inches and we can check the sound path is 4 inches here. If I move the gate to the first signal, it should be 2 inches which is right here, 2 inches. Now after this we have to find the exit point of the probe wedge. So what we do is that we we bring the probe and we pick up the signal from the IAW block after the signal is peaked then I take this line here which is the center of this radius and uh, extend that line to the wedge which would be right there so this line actually is the center and we extend it to the, the wedge to get the actual exit point of the wedge. Once that is done then we use that exit point to find the actual refracted angle of the wedge. As you can see the refracted angle says 60 degrees but the actual refracted angle could be 61, 59 so we need to know the exact refracted angle so now we uh, pick up the signal again to find the actual refracted angle once the signal is peaked then we read the actual refracted angle and in this case it is about 60.5 right there so that is the actual refracted angle 60.5 then we have to go to the trick function enter the 
actual refracted angle, which is right here. Sixty point five. So now let me set up the trig functions for the inspection. The actual refracted angle is sixty point five, which we entered here. The thickness of the plate, which is right here, is one inch, and the x value is the distance from the exit point of the wedge to the front of the wedge and in this case that number is 0.45 is inches so I will enter 0.45 here so that sets up the machine for the inspection of the one inch plate. We now have to set up the gain on the machine to get the right sensitivity. For pipes we use uh, notches for establishing the sensitivity. This is a plate but let's assume it's a pipe. We would be using these notches which are 10% deep. There is one on the top and one on the bottom. So first I'll go to the bottom notch, pick up the signal and then we are ready to make a DAC curve so we'll pick it up to about 80-90% record the first point and then I move it back go to the second point which is the top stop then I move it back and record the notch which is on the top and it's right there and we record it so we have a two point DAC which goes from right there to the right there so we have established the gain which is 75 dBs now we are ready to scan the plate before we scan we will need a drawing of the weld profile so for plotting purposes